Hey you guys, happy Vlogmas day number six. I know that the last five days have been kind of like jumbled around, but this week I am going to definitely commit to filming at least a little bit here and there every day. Um, last week was kind of like a crazy week. December 1st happened like in the middle of the week. And so it was kind of hard to start a vlog in the middle of the week. But it is Monday and it is freezing. It is 6.30, ah, 6.22 in the morning. And I'm leaving the hotel for work. Um, so a few of you guys have asked me in the comments of Instagram and in a couple of YouTube videos what is going on with the hotel. So if you guys are new here, um, my home flooded back in September. Basically, long story short, our reverse osmosis system blew a pipe and our house was flooding for about two hours, which is really a short time considering um, how long a flood can take place. Um, but uh, we've been living in a hotel since September 15th, 16th-ish, um, and it is now December 6th. So we've lived here for quite some time now. Um, they should be starting construction on our house this week, actually. The contractor that we hired has our project manager setting everything up. So hopefully this week we will start seeing some changes in our home. Um, it's just been sitting there empty for a while, so that kind of sucks. But we're making the most out of it. Um, we're probably going to be in the hotel for Christmas, maybe New Year's. So I'm crossing my fingers that we get to move in while on winter break that would be like the best case scenario um, because then I could spend that time organizing putting things away and um, because everything's packed up and in storage so anyway that's that so we have been staying in a hotel um, and it's been really interesting so all right I'm gonna get off of this camera and see you guys when I get to school All day long, all I do is ride elevators. Pretty much. So, I'm actually not here on Friday. I'm getting here on Friday. I'm so busy. Let's see if I'm in. They're probably so hungry. Their food is down to like their non-favorites. Hi, Teeny. Give me a minute and I'll bring you some crackers, okay? Good morning, hello. Hello. Students were excellent. So these were my sub plans. All assignments are all in Google Classroom. All of that went well. Okay. Groovy. So I can throw this away. And I need to plug this in. Okay, so let me show you around uh, the Christmassy goodness in here. So we've got my little tree, which I have on the computer cart. And I told the kids that if they wanted to, they could bring in like the ugliest Christmas ornament that they have and put it on the tree. And then obviously they will take it home. Um, and this is just for my homeroom students because if I had every student bring in an ornament, there would be 80 ornaments on this tree. Um, if you guys are new here, I do teach departmentalized science and social studies for fourth grade. So I have about 80 students I'm rounding up. And then my little village lights are here. They were left on. So that sucks. But other than that, we're good, we're good to go. So today we're doing mystery science um, for the first 60 minutes of class and then we will do social studies for the last 30 minutes of class. I have 90 minute blocks. And so we've been working on the Birth of Rocks unit in mystery science and so we are on mystery number two. I'm hoping that this whole Birth of Rocks Thing will take us all the way through the end of the quarter which is this week and next week next week we have three full days and two half days um, so yeah so today the kids are going to be doing a lava experiment 
where they test runny lava and thick lava and they learn about what types of volcanoes erupt what type of lava and why some volcanoes explode and some do not. So they will be doing this with a partner today. So one thing that I have to get ready is the thick lava. So I have to make some lava with flour and water. And so I'm gonna be working on that this morning. So I need to pull up the instruction video on how to put it in a Ziploc bag because I feel like that's gonna be the easiest way for me to distribute it, like cut a hole in the bottom and squeeze it out into each cup. I think that's gonna be probably the best way to go about it. I will also do a very quick outfit of the day. This dress is super old and I got it on Amazon. I think it was last year's Meet the Teacher Night dress and I think I wore it this year as well. And then I just put on some black tights and these super cute combat boots that I found at Fry's or Kroger, I guess you'd call it. And then obviously it is kind of shorter. So I do have a pair of shorts on underneath, um, but it isn't too short. like. It goes long past my fingertips so but I thought it was just fun it's still around 75 to 80 degrees during the day here so I didn't want to bundle up too much I do have bus duty this morning but just a simple jacket will get me through that Okay, so hot little tip. If you are either a science teacher, A, or B, you're going to be doing any type of science in your classroom, I highly recommend that at the beginning of the school year, you put on a wish list for parents to bring in paper plates, straws, plastic cups, and then plastic cutlery. So like I use a lot of plastic spoons. Um, this is just one bag that I have. I use a lot of straws, I use a lot of paper plates, and I use a lot of paper cups. So these are all the paper cups that I currently have left. And what I like to do is like for these ones that are full of water, I'll just empty them and reuse them. Since the kids aren't using them to drink out of, I'm gonna reuse them throughout the whole day. And then these I can probably use throughout the whole day as well because the kids are not ingesting anything. They're just blowing bubbles into it. So hopefully I can reuse them all day. If not, I'll probably only have to replace the flour. So the thick lava. Um, but yeah, um, just realized when I walked through the door that there is not an elf in here, but a Grinch. And there's a note left here from Ginger. So if you guys joined me in the last few years for Christmas, you know that I have an elf that comes to my classroom. Her name is Ginger. Well, she hasn't shown up yet. And usually she's here like the Monday after Thanksgiving break, but she didn't show up all week last week. Um, and then this morning I walked in and this little dude is here. And there's a note. It says, dear fourth grade, I've been hiding out for over a week now trying to decide when to show myself. You are all too rowdy for me, for an elf like me. So I sent the Grinch instead. Maybe you can help each other about kindness and joy. Maybe she forgot to put learn. Help each other learn about kindness and joy. Love, Ginger, for Miss V. And she left me a little treat. So, um, yeah, looks like Ginger's not going to be joining us for the holiday season. And instead we get this little Grinch. I tried warning them. As you teachers know, throughout the world, teaching this year has been really difficult. Behaviors have been escalated. Um, there's not a lot of social emotional control. And so I'm imagining that's probably why Ginger sent the Grinch. 
in her place. So anyways, I have my experiment ready for the day. I actually brewed some hot coffee in my coffee maker. I don't usually drink hot coffee, but since it is chilly outside, and when I say chilly, I mean like, let's see. Let's see, shall we? It is 48 degrees, 46 degrees out, and our high today is 78. <laughs> That's Arizona December for you. So anyway, I'm just sitting here snacking on some three-layer hummus from Trader Joe's and some of the pita crackers and uh, finishing up plans for the day. I do have a couple things on my to-do list. I need to finish up doing some of my like professional tasks like putting together my communication logs and my tutoring logs and then I will be going outside. Oh, I'll show you guys my cute little welcome screen that I have up on the board when the kids come in. So it looks like this. I'm covering up my professional email and phone number. <laughs> but there's a fireplace going. There's some Christmas books for the kids to click on and read if they're done with their math goals. They do SD math in the morning. It's like a math program, but they have to complete a certain amount of puzzles and spend a certain amount of time on it. But once they're done, they can click on these videos and watch them um, but yeah and then I have Christmas music playing but obviously for copyright reasons I have turned that off so all right I'm gonna get started with my day get some coffee do my tasks and then kids will be here Okay, that should be a little bit better. Okay, try to blow a bubble in there. Oh my gosh. Oh, you got one. Yeah. Okay. So, which lava is easiest to blow bubbles in? <laughs> okay, you guys. So, my tights lasted about two hours. When I went to pull them up in the bathroom, I totally split them. So remind me to go buy some thin leggings if I'm ever gonna wear a dress with boots again because now my legs are just out and blinding everyone. Yeah, not a look. So anyway, <laughs> the experiment went great for my first group. And as you can see, I left the paper out just because it is gonna save a little bit of time for the next class. And yeah, so I'm going to prepare some more um, lava and then I'm going to eat my lunch and just hang out for a few minutes until my prep is over in about 20 minutes. Good morning, everyone. Happy Vlogmas Day 7. I'm here really early. It's the butt crack of dawn. It's like 6.30 in the morning and Cash and I are here. And when we walked in, look what we saw. There is not a seat in the place. All of the stools are stacked up super high. And Monsieur Grinch is sitting happily at the top. I knew this was going to happen. I knew if there was going to be a Grinch in my classroom that things were going to take place that I was not going to enjoy. So there's not a stool out there. No stools, no chairs. So, um, that just means that when the kids come in here, they're going to have to either stand or sit on the floor. Which sucks. So, um, I have an IEP meeting this morning at 7. That's why I'm here so early. Um, but right now, before that meeting begins, because I am here really early, I'm going to like clean up this mess from yesterday. <laughs> Good morning, my friend. 
happy Wednesday. It's finally hump day. I'm so happy. Um, let's see. It is 7.15 and Cash and I just got to school and the Grinch has taken the Chromebook carts. There he is sitting right there. He took the Chromebook carts. There's no computers for students to use today. So I'm gonna, um, I was gonna do something with them on the computers. Wednesdays are like dojo store day. And so they usually like spend their points on rewards, but since they don't have their computers, there will not be a dojo store since they use the computers. Oh, you shush. To do their dojo store shopping. So that's that. Um, I guess I'm gonna just pull, I, I pulled a few things from my sub tub and they are just a reading passage with some questions. Um, but luckily they're on volcanoes, which works out. So that is what my students will be doing today. I'm also gonna create like a journal entry um, and just have them explain everything that they've learned so far. Oh, cute. Um, about volcanoes. So we'll be doing that. So I'm gonna have to edit my slides for today. Um, you know, as educators, sometimes we have to adjust. And um, luckily, I have a sub tub under my desk that's full of like packets, paper activities, task cards, like anything and everything under the sun that if I wasn't here, someone could just pull them out and give them to the kids and it would be at least enough to keep them busy. So if you don't have a sub tub, it might be a good idea to make one. Yes.